Hey, welcome to Big with BR, and today this video is about how not to start your mower that's been sitting out for two years. This is a reenactment, but we did catch this mower on fire. So what we normally do, and what I normally do, especially when a mower's been sitting out for a long time, is I get some starter fluid. This mower had been sitting out for a couple years. It's about a 10-year-old mower. We knew it's going to need, need some things, uh, particularly the blades, probably a new battery. We knew there were some fluid issues. Uh, probably your carburetor was going to be gunked up. So I told my buddy, hey, we will shoot some starter fluid right into the air intake. You get on the seat, crank it, and if it fires up, we're good. If it doesn't fire up after a couple times, again, we, we know right off the bat it's a carburetor issue. I've used starter fluid for years. Never thought to read a disclaimer or at least remind myself to read a disclaimer. I picked up this starter fluid from Walmart. I have plenty of them. Just love them. They're fantastic to, to get the things going. But unfortunately, this time I should have read the disclaimer. You should only spray it a couple times in the engine, in the air intake, uh, only for a couple seconds. And if it's not firing up, you should never attempt to spray it while trying to crank the engine. I thought we were going to brute force it. I told my buddy while he was sitting on the mower, hey, I'm going to go ahead and spray it. I want you to crank it as I'm spraying, which is a big no-no. As soon as I sprayed it, he kept cranking it. Bam! This flame just comes shooting out. I fall back. He freaks out. Flames are shooting from the top of the engine. He jumps off the mower and we're just staring at this thing. And then we said, oh, let's get the world's longest hose to kill this fire. He cranks it on and I go take an off for this hose. <laughs> So after grabbing the world's longest water hose to put out this fire, learned the hard way. We had some fire damage, but this is exactly what you do not want to do with starter fluid. Make sure you read a disclaimer. So I hope this video was helpful for you on how to use starter fluid appropriately. If you like, please subscribe and be on the lookout for my next video. Thanks for watching.